Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 10th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to understand how we can create tables in SQL using tables that are already existing in our database, right? And uh, what this means is that as you can see it's possible to create tables through other tables and uh, when you're doing this you can select one, two or as many columns as you want from uh, tables that are already existing. And the statement that we're going to use to do this is the create table statement. And we've seen the create table statement in action in the last tutorial. It has a very simple syntax. And uh, the syntax is going to be the same for, uh, you know, doing this as well. But it's, it's going to have a few more keywords. So, you know, we have the create and the table, both the keywords uh, at the beginning. And then you have to specify the name for your new table. And then a keyword as and then another keyword select and then you have to mention the columns that you want to sort of pull from the existing table and then you mention the keyword from and uh, then finally you mention the name of the table from which you want the fields or the columns to be pulled right and whatever you see in the square brackets uh, all of that is optional so if you want all the all the columns to be pulled from the existing table then although that doesn't make sense you're just duplicating the table but if you want to do that then uh, you cannot specify any column after the select keyword right and also the where clause that you see at the end that's optional too and uh, we're going to talk about the where clause uh, later on in this course but for the time being we're going to see very simple application of this and we're going to see how we can create uh, one table from another so i've got my mysql workbench uh, here now and uh, before we do anything we are going to check out the structure of the employee table that we created in the last tutorial and as i mentioned in the last tutorial there are two ways of uh, doing this Firstly, we can see that in the object browser, in the test database, uh, I have the employee table here. And if I want to see the columns that are there in the table, then I can, uh, you know, click on the drop down for the employee table and then click on the drop down for columns. And I can see the four columns that I have in the table. Alternatively, if I want to use an SQL command to do this, then uh, the command is DESC. And I told you that DESC is uh, the short form for describe. And if you want to type in the entire word describe, then you can do that too, right? So if I type in describe and then the name of the table, which is employee and uh, press the control enter key combination, I see that I get the results set and in the set, I see my four columns. I also see the data types of my columns and I see whether uh, you know, there are any constraints on the columns or not. So if suppose I want to create another table, uh, let's say I want to call it employee info, right? Or EMP underscore info, something like that. And if I want that table to have just two columns, right? The ID column and the name column, and I don't want the DOB column or the email column to be in that table, then I can use the syntax that we just discussed in the PowerPoint to, uh, you know, do that. And uh, the reason why someone would want to do something as uh, crazy as this is, you know, if suppose uh, you've got, let's say, 15 columns in your table and, you know, all the information when put together it just becomes too overwhelming for you and you just want to, you know, have, uh, you know, a little bit of information from that table. So you just want to see few fields like one or two fields. You know, in that case, you can, you know, create another table and uh, you can, you know, sort of uh, copy those fields that interest you in that table and you can, uh, you know, execute your SQL queries on that table, right? So anyway, let's see how to create uh, the EMP underscore info table. So I'm going to type in the keyword create first and then table and then the name of the table, which I said, I'm going to name it EMP underscore info and then the keyword as. And then on the next line, SQL, by the way, is case uh, insensitive and also white, white space insensitive. So, you know, I can type in the from, uh, sorry, uh, I'm supposed to type in the select keyword here first. So I can type in the select keyword here, right? Or I can type it on the next line. I just don't want things to shift too much towards the right. That's why I'm going to type in the select keyword on the, on the, on the line number four. And uh, then since I just want the ID column and the name column from the uh, employee table, I'm just going to put in those column names. And of course, you know, you have to put in commas uh, between the columns and uh, then I'll type in the from keyword and then the name of the table, which is employee 
employee and I'll put in the semicolon to terminate the statement. When I press the control enter key combination, I see in the output section that uh, the create table statement has uh, been processed. And uh, if I click on the refresh button here, well, let me first uh, collapse uh, some of these. And when I click on the refresh button, you see that now I see two tables in the test database, the EMP underscore info table and the employee table. And if I would, uh, you know, describe the EMP underscore info table, then I would see that it just has two columns, the ID column and the name column, right? So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to discuss something interesting again. I hope you guys had fun watching this one and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'm going to see you soon.